I will continue with the series of the message that I've started to. This little beginning is not the size of your future. Can you tell that person beside you or in your house, on your office, say this little beginning is not the size of your future. Shout the loud and say amen. Can you write again, say this little beginning is not the size of your future. Last time I told you that a, my, a wise man we hear and we increase learning. And that in the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5. That a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Whenever you hear word of teaching, it is very important. Because it's going to give you special value that will help your life grow. Can I hear a better hymn? Hey, Today we are going to be talking on different things. But I will start by... The power of what you see. The power of what you see. And listen to this. I told you that the little of what you have seen in your life is not the size of your future. The little beginning where you have started from, you need to understand that your future is bigger than when you have started. Is it not true? You need to know. And to every man on earth, there is a particular template we must follow before we get to our destination. And here it is, when you go to the term of arithmetic or mathematics, when you are solving equation and you are able to get the answer but without workings, your teacher will tell you they didn't get it. Why? Because your teacher will tell you that you have to go back to the basis and understand. Why? Because you have been trained so you can train others. Are you with me? So when you are only being trained and you can't train others, that is wrong. And the perspective to that is not going to give you the best. Amen. So I want you to understand something that value do not change anything. Value does not change by teaching. Value does not, does not change by teaching, but by exposure. What you are exposed to, that is a thing that changes you. When you want to add value, you can't get it by teaching alone, but by what you are exposed to. Exposure will give you something so distant in life that will blow your mind. For what you are exposed to, you must see. Say the power of what I see. Shout it very loud and clear. There are two things that you see as a man. Number one, you are able to see the imaginary thing and you are able to see the physical thing. That means you can see, you can futurize something about you and you can also see something and what you see has something to do with you. So there is something Little you are exposed to that will guide you for the rest of your life. Little thing you are exposed to. And I want you to understand that today. When we are coming on the way, my children observe something and they call our attention to it. And they say something fell down and it belongs to us. And somebody said that ah, it's, it's a man that pick it. I say if it's that man, he will bring it to me. And immediately we go to church that same man brought it by himself. I didn't have any conversation. I don't need to call him. I don't need to say anything. I don't need to be fidgeting about it. I say, if it's the man that pick it, he will bring it. Why? Because I understand the power of uniqueness and relationship. Amen. Power of what? Uniqueness and what again? And relationship. So you need to understand that. Now, power of sin is a catalyst that improves, motivate, directs, control, and lead you from something into something best. It is something that makes you to react the way you do. That is the power of what you see. When you don't see it, you don't act it. When you don't act it, you be the way you are. But anything you see, you know that some people are not provoked by what they hear. They say, let me see first. You take unwise person 
to react over what you have not seen. Somebody said this. Then have you gone to that person who, who they said that they said it? But some people, I used to ask this, my wife, my wife understands this. I love what is called privileged information. When you say, you speak bad against me, and you tell me, or somebody come to inform me, I will appreciate you that it's a privileged information. I don't take it for granted. Then I'll begin to look what next I do. So, what you see, when you talk about your present state of life, when you see the bigger state of life in your future, you need to understand, I have something important than now. In other words, you will not limit yourself to where you are. You will not limit yourself to your geographical location. You might see be in that place, at that geographical location, but your mind has grown that environment. Hello? In one of my teachings some years back, I think ignorant of whom you are, I believe, I said that the mentality of a worthy person or worthy man are, oh Lord, in their prayer, Lord, please, I discovered that the road on our street is not good. I need a contract. Until when you grow beyond asking for food, you may not grow at all. Until when you grow beyond investing so much in what you put on, what you put in your mouth, and not what you put in your brain, you may not become what you ought to be. Are you see here? So life will give you the best you desire if you had quality to what you put in your head. Let's take for instance, people that watch movie at all times, you know them by their first speech to you. When you are talking, they will look for a way to divert your attention to the movie they have watched per week. Is it not true? I told my children, I say, anyone that you see acting scripts, they are put in their best. I need your best. You hear me? If your best Agbejoye is good, other things that Christian uh, uh, dramas are good, other things are good, but here it is, what have you put into your life for other people to be able to watch you? There are so many people that do the same kind of business you do, and some people will come, some uh, new casters will come because of what? They have seen new brand that have not been seen anywhere. You don't pay for them. You don't go to them. They come to you. Why? Because they are seeing something special. For you to move out of the little beginning to your future, you must add quality to your life. Glory be to the name of the Lord. So what you can see, you can possess. But not by mouth. Put it down. Say what I can see. I can possess. What you can see, you can get. So this little beginning is not the size of your life, but I'm trying to train you and to teach everyone how do you get to your future. Here it is. Uh, 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 your imaginary picture is a nation in you. You travel to a place without using a airplane. Your brain can go there. Abacol chapter 3. Verses 1 to 3 says, I will stand upon my watch. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and watch to see what he will say unto me and what as I answer when I am reproved. Every wise man we like to be on a watch. And we also love rebook. If you are doing anything and you do not give room for critics, you cannot grow in it. How many of us have seen uh, people that have products? People that have products like Milo, edible products, uh, all this one that they will come to your street. 
They will give to you free to drink. How many of us have seen that before? How many of us have taken that before? And after you have done that, they will ask you a question, right? What do you think they are doing with that? They want you to criticize their product. So they can improve before they bring it out. But there are lots of people running for critics and they think they can do well. No. Criticism is part of life that will groom you because of what? It will point to your mistake and your error. So this man, the writer of that scripture, he said, I will stay on my watch and I'm going to stand and wait to see when he reproved me and I will look at the way I will answer him. When you are doing something and people criticize you, he so tell you they did not do it well. Today, I will answer when I am improved. Verse 2 says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write division and make it plain upon the table that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. The vision is yet for an appointed time. I believe the church can see it on the screen. The vision is yet for an appointed time. This is the word of God. So you need to understand yet for an appointed time. But at the end is I speak and not lie. Though it's hurry, wait for it because it will surely come and it will not tarry. The vision is yet for an appointed time. The vision is yet for what? An appointed time. Say, say the vision is yet for an appointed time. Then what is that vision? The vision is when, not when you sleep and you saw Goliath and David fighting. It's the thing that is in your heart. What you have heard. How to do certain things. A lot of people thought that when you want to go and pray, it's the only time you need retreat. No. There are different kinds of retreat. There is a family retreat. There is a business retreat. There is a personal retreat. That you sit there and you evaluate your life. You are going to stay there until how many times that takes for you to get it right. A lot of people don't get it right because they live their life. They made, they left, they made it. And they want to work on the template of other people. Say not again. Can you shout it again? Say not again. To so see is one thing. And to assess what you have seen is another thing. To so see is one thing. And to assess what you have seen is another thing. So, so many people have seen their marriage come through at a certain age. But still not seeing it happening even after 10 years of their desired day. Oh, I wish I marry when I'm 20 years. Oh, yes, when I'm 22 years. 10 years after marriage never come. Then how do you do that? You can see in your mind, but there is something better than the power of seeing that to see wrongly. It is possible for you to look and not see. Your eyes are open and somebody asks you, what do you see? You see like this. I can't see anything. It is possible for you to see, but never see it well. Mark chapter 8, we are going to be reading from 23 and 25. Mark chapter 8, verse 23 and 25 says, Jesus took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the village. Then, spitting on the man's eye, he laid his hand on him and asked, Can you see anything now? Up to now, I want to ask you, can you see anything now? Can you see anything now? You only see your business. You only see your children. You only see certain things, but you don't see beyond that. God will take care of your children. God will take care of your spouse. But here it is. There is something you must see. You must see greater value to yourself. Hello? When people are getting uh, one flat for their office space, you can say, I want the whole building. A man said, oh, when I have money, two men are together. One said, when I have money, 
I will come and buy something in this big mall. And another man said, when I have money, I'm going to build a mall like this and people will bring in their product. In other words, a friend said, when you have money and build this thing, I will come and be patronizing it. So, two of them are friends. They left house together the same day, the same time, going out to see, but they have different mindset. What do you see? The man saw the ability to promote the manufacturer representative. Another one saw the ability to build and the manufacturer representative will be bringing goods. What do you see? Until you change your mental picture, you will remain just the way you have been. Jesus asked the man, can you see anything now? Look at the reply. Verse 24 says, the man looked around. Yes, he said. I see people, but I can't see them very clearly. Hey. I see future, but I can't see the future very clearly. I see men and women, but I can't see them very clearly. I see the dead desire profession, but I can't see it very clearly. They look like tree walking around. That was what he saw. He saw, but he saw them walking like what? Tree. He was not lying. He, he was able to say what he saw. Listen to this. Verse 25 says, can we read 25 together? Very sound, loud and clear. One to go. Then Jesus placed his hand on the man's eye again. And his eye were open. His sight was completely restored. And he could see everything. I pray for you today. You will see everything. That man was able to see everything because it depends so much on the master. Hey, who is your master? I, before we came here, my wife and I, we have to get to an hospital early this morning, somewhere to go and pray for somebody very early. Before we came. And I was counseling that person the, the, the potency in having somebody that directs you. When you take loss into your hands alone, you mess it up. Somebody that directs you, you have tested over the years, you have known over the years, you are able to communicate with that person with that fear over the years, then you take hold of that person and say, you must tell me, even if you beat me, I will stand by it because there is something I've known about you. But when you say alone, I know it. One of the problems in this kingdom, I've said it before, is what? Over spiritual spiritual. They are spiritual about food, spiritual about water, spiritual about house. When they see anything on top of their television because the house is not well kept, they saw warm. They begin to shout, demon has come into the place. Many people make you believe that everything is demon. Why? Because you are not neat. Are you here? Because you are not neat. So everything you see, you say, oh, demon, don't come. And that is the only time you pray. When that is called and is killed, you stop Rakrobaba again. Rakrobaba, 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 give me water. Rakrobaba, give me oil. Rakrobaba, Rakrobaba, Rakrobaba. Ha, Rakrobaba, Rakrobaba. Rakrobaba, Rakrobaba. Rakrobaba, Rakrobaba. That will be the beginning and the end. God don't work that way. And future don't have anything to do with that. Hello? Even the principle of God, whenever you prepare for God's principle, when you see something, even it could be demon, you don't be afraid. He has given me charge over the power of scorpion. Because of what? You are prepared. Preparation leads to success. 
Students who don't prepare will be watching other students growing in life. Men and women who don't prepare will watch their marriage suffering from a lot of things there. Because you don't prepare. You begin to depend on people that are prepared. And people that are prepared, we have to target to when they are ready. They will not wait for your time. They will give you time. Can you please give me time? I'm going to call you back. Okay, sir. Because you need that person. Sir, please, when can I call you again? Oh, my God. You are, hold on, hold on. If you disturb them so much, they will switch off their phone because you are disturbing them. When they were busy imparting their life, you were busy eating your future. It is possible for someone to eat his future from where he's seated. It is finished. It's not by what you put in your mouth. Some people talk out their future. Some people provoke their future. Some people do a lot of things concerning their future because of what? What they have seen is a wrong future. Are you see here? So when you look at verse 24, it is an indication that it is possible for you to see but not seeing things right. The Bible says, yes, he said, I see people but I can't see them very clearly. I have seen my future but I can't see my future very clearly. I see what I desire but I can't see it very clearly. I have seen something about the ministry, but I can't see it very clearly. Until when you see it very clearly, you will remain the way you are. To grow up in life, you have to see. I've said it before. As a woman, if you depend on the sin of your husband alone, if you depend on what? The sin of your husband alone. You will be the one carrying the shoe for the people that you have started together. Oh, she's very nice. Oh, oh, very good. Oh, ah, very nice. When you need anything, they will call you. When they need anything, they will call you. Because they said, you are always not busy or less busy. A busy person, they will consider you, oh, is busy. We can't stop. They will browse around. Who can they see? There is somebody that is either busy or either not busy or less busy. And when you look at it, you say, oh, 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 this person will take care of you very well. But the future is not kept. That little change that will be given to you will only wipe away worry for one week. Or two days. So here it is. The imaginary picture of your future is not what you should jump into, but what you must first sit it to reason at. Let me repeat. The imaginary picture of your future is not what you should jump into. The imaginary. Don't jump into it, but you must sit first and reason at that picture. What you see at all times can be likened to how you live your life. What you see can be likened to how you live your life, how you feel, how you react to a thing, how you make your decision, how you respond to a thing, how you gather your information, how you grow in life, how passionate you will become about certain things because of what? What to see. What do you see? What do you see? As far as the heads remain, some people will see them sweeping out of other people. That's what they see. If I go to this house, I sweep. Go to that house, I sweep. Go to that house. You can do that for a certain time, but you must grow beyond that. Why must you be a sweeper? Why can't you be an owner? See, I don't want to thief. I don't want to fornicate. You grow. Even in that, you grow. Grow. When you grow, people will come and offer to you what belongs to them. Can I say something to you? To every great man you see, when they are, when they are doing any celebration, they don't spend their money. 
How many of us believe? They don't do what? They don't spend their money. They spend other people's money. Sir, what do you want? I don't need anything. Okay, don't worry. I know what I will do. Five cows. I don't need anything. No. You say you don't need anything, but I believe you will need cow. Sir, what do you need? Don't worry. I know what I will do. And I have paid your tailor. Don't bother for the clothes you wanted to wear. Sir, what do you need? I don't need anything. Because of what? The man with a great mind will have people who will submit because of what? They want to share with that greatness. Are you getting such an engine in your mind now? So you have to grow with that. You have to consider in life that the picture in your mind dies when you stop seeing that great thing in your future. It dies. It dies when you stop thinking in a positive manner. The future dies. Number three, it dies when you stop learning. Number four, it dies when you stop planning. A lot of people don't plan. A lot of people don't learn. They just want to live their life the way it is. I believe you are writing in the studio. So they understand. They don't get this right. Everyone must write. So you know it dies. It dies. It stop when you stop moving with right people. The future stop when you stop moving with right people. Those who can hurt to you through simple rebook. Some people hate to rebook. When you rebook them, you turn to their enemy. Why must you talk to me like that? Is he my father? Is it only your father that must talk to you? Is he my leader? Is it only your leader that must talk to you? There are so many things that your parents don't see, your spouse don't see, but other people see it. Why? Because it has been part of them through you. And when you meet with other people, they will be able to ascertain your error and you can be corrected. Someone said some years back to my mom, to my wife, when she was rebooked, he said, since I've grown up in life, nobody has ever rebooked me like this. She was crying. And I call her and I said to her, it's because nobody has been able to tell you the truth about yourself. Nobody has been what? Be able to tell you the truth about yourself. Because of what? Everyone you have met on earth, you are always proving that I know it's more than you. But when you go to a place, you have to mellow down, get down, sit down. This is what is on here. They use hands to rub your head and they will go behind you to begin to tell you, you are very stupid. We don't do that. We tell you to your face, sit down and correct this. And to so the glory of God, the person was able to take to correction and it worked for her. It worked for her. You have to get closer to people that will rebook you, but not all time, all the time. Sometimes they will laugh with you, not laugh at you. Because if you stop listening to people that will direct you, they will not laugh with you, they will laugh at you. Those who will tell you the truth about your misbehavior and ready to stand with you to see it being corrected in order for you to have a better picture about yourself. They'll be there. My father-in-law told me sometimes, he said, son, don't ever have anything to do with anybody that talk you down. Say, my son, whosoever you see that I better talk you down, always talking you down, never embrace you one time. Say, my son, don't relate with them. I say, yes, sir. To talk you down is different from rebooking you. You are not doing it right. This is what you're supposed to do. You didn't get it. Some people hate it. I remember I spoke to my son Daniel, the pianist. One day I said, because everything we do in church, if I'm going, I will listen to it. I said, the way you play your piano, your setting is this and that and that. You need to change the way you, you can use your octave. You, you, you are used to as if you are accompanying the, the master keyboard. Then you change your octave. Let the, let the high octave be high and the low octave can be because of your fingering. And I said, I said, Daddy, thank you, sir. I understand now. How, what are we do? And the other time, when he look at it, I say, Daddy, I will give him signal that you have gotten it. But some people tell them, they say, for what? 
I'll be playing before I know you. And I will tell you, I'll be here before you start playing. Amen. I'm somebody that loves music. If there is any sound that is not distinct, I'm react. It's like somebody reacting to drugs. I react to noise. I like good sound. I react to what? Noise. When music is not musical, it can never take me to the throne of God. When what? Music is not musical. So when you are not musically prepared, it will be very hard to take me to the throne of God. I would rather take one CD that I love, put it on my ear, begin to listen. Because you are not the reason I live. So the main reason why people remain little is because they don't think big, but talk big. Anyone that talk big is unreasonable in his action. Tell somebody, say, don't talk big, but think big. Say it again. Say, don't talk big, but think big. So there is difference between thinking and talking. As a matter of fact, the talk is very simple. You are not paying for it. But to think big is very hard. <laughs> How many of us believe that? To think big is very hard. When you get to a particular peak in your thought, you will get stuck. You get stuck. Then where you get stuck, don't move an inch. Say in that place in your mind. Anywhere you have gotten stuck, don't move. Say. What do you want to do? There is something I need to fix here before I go to the next level. Don't move. Don't move. There's something I'm going to fix here if I go to the next level. Is that okay? So why some people remain small? They don't consider first thing to be first. In everything, there must be first thing. So any man that wants to become an engineer, you must first go to kindergarten school. First thing. There is a law of process in life. Law of process. When you fail the law of process, you will remain under not being processed. And anything that is not processed is not useful. Anything that is not useful, what do you do with it? You either discard it or throw it away. So, you don't be a man that doesn't think big, but talk big. Talk is cheap. Stop talking. Start thinking. And when you think, think rightly. Why must it be your thoughts will be when students are going to school, they should just employ me to be somebody that will be inside the school bus at all times. First year, the same thing. Second year, the same thing. Third year, the same thing. 40 to 10 years. When you grow old, you will discover that you will have created more problems for your future. Because when you are growing, you are not active. You are not what? Active. You are always being a support service. You have never created a service that people will support. Need to understand that? Number three, they allow someone else's opinion about them to be their reality. People may have wrong opinion concerning you. Then you don't take it to be the reality of your life. That's what they think. When you consider that, then when you say, this is what I heard that this person said. And if you look at yourself, you will see like 60% of that character in you, that is who you are. Then what do you do? Start looking for how to correct it. Number four, they are always seeking for validation and never build their own brand. Never do what? Build their own brand. They are looking for validation. The man who is validating you or the woman who is validating you has already built a brand. Then, where is your home brand? Where is your home brand? When people see me, they know me as Pastor Adeleke. Some people call me Nogata. Nogata is a brand. When I met some set of pastor in a particular pastoral network I belong, the name they call me is Nogata. That is my name in that place, Nogata. 
Some people look at me and say, reconciliation. Mm. I'm about reconciliation here. They are the father of reconciliation. That is a brand. Then what is your brand? When people see you, what would they say about you? If you are into trading, they say, this person is cooking food. They know the right place to go because you are cooking food. What you are doing that people know as your major work is cooking of food. You may have other business by the side, but when they talk about you, what do they say? Is a food fender. Is it fender, Abi? That is what this person said. So that is the only thing. Then when people are coming to patronize you, I know one woman who cooks food here. But when you say, I know one woman, she cook food, she's a new shoemaker, she's doing a sweeping house, she's a, she do soap, she know how to do makeup, she know how to do pedicure and manicure, she know all these things. Hello? A reasonable person will not want to have your contact. Is that okay? They will not want to have your contact because of what? You are, you are into jack of all trade. Then if I may ask question, then in all of this, can you just tell me one thing about that person? They'll begin to look. And the only thing they will tell is bad character. So, you have to make sure that you build your brand. Number five, they find it difficult to process information before dispensing it. When you hear a thing, do not allow your body to be shaken. I must say it. I must say it. No! The main reason why so many people remain small is because of what? They are prone to hunger. I must say it. Ah, no, no, no. If I don't say it, I will never sleep. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! You even see that reaction like a witch. Because of information, they are not supposed to be heard. That was taken to them. No, 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 no. How would that happen? How would they happen? How do you hear it from a privileged person? Then must you react? It takes a wise man to keep quiet. Dispense it rightly. Many years ago, one man was in the church, one of the elders then, and she said, he said, as in they are going in a group, and they said that my wife used to look at the face of children in children's department before sharing cake. And one of them came that very day to me. That it is what I heard. I don't like the way they are talking. I said, okay. I said, don't worry. I kept it. Five years after, something happened also. This man came to report somebody to me. Say, sir, I can't take it. What kind of thing is this? Blah, 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 blah. I said, if I can take this, I told him, like five years ago, you can take this now. Do you hear me? Hello? You are not reacting because you are not a leader yet. When you get to the position of leadership, you want to act like, sometimes like a mad person. When you get to that position of leadership. But when the leader had 2%, some people say, why? It's too much. You cannot even take it. Take what? You can't take it. I was telling one of my children-in-law, one of my daughters-in-law, certain things I do. I say, hey, daddy, eh? I say, yes. We need to know. Amen. Proverbs 23 verse 7 says, Proverbs 23 verse 7 says, For as he tinkered in his heart, so he is. Eat and drink, see ye to thee. But his heart is not with you. Some people that will come to you, you are heat. Just be drinking. I was listening to the governor of River State when they are doing a particular ceremony for justice orderly. I listened and he said, he went to the house of uh, former governor Peter Odele and he said, take your stout, drink your stout. And he said to himself, nobody drink, I can't drink for here. 
Some people will want to test you with your appetite. Some people have appetite for sex, appetite for food, appetite for GC, appetite for gallivanting, appetite for just roaming around. Anything they know they are taking your time, they will present it to you. And they are noting you, they are writing it down. You are talking about they are writing it down. And later when you leave, they will tell their peers, whoever, please, I don't want to see this one around me again. That is all. I don't want to see this one around me again. So I pray for you today in the name of Jesus, the Lord will change the way you think. Shout the loudest, amen. amen. So this is the reason you have to see big. You must think big. You must act big. You must have a big carriage. Anywhere you find yourself, dress well. Okay? Dress well. Carry yourself. Even if it's bent down, select you are wearing. Are you listening to me? Wear it well. When, we, when, when I was wedding to my wife, the day of our wedding, I went to Solitogo and picked one Tokumba shoe. Oh my God. Tokumba what? Shoe. I put on that shoe on traditional day and a wedding day. And listen to this, that didn't change me. Because of what? I did not have money to buy a new shoe. Then I have to pray on that shoe very well before I wear it. Now another journey I won't wear, now to come back, another person don't wear a more. Let the leg of this person go. But that does not change me. God, that was what I can afford as at that time. But some people, because you want to marry, marry you. They will go and borrow money. Borrow money to buy tie. Borrow money to buy shoe. Borrow money to hire a hall. Borrow money to, for instrumentalists. I remember a particular lady who got wedded and came back and said, Daddy, I know they marry again. On the wedding day. I know they marry again. I said, ah, they don't join you. Say, be at the tell at that time. You, 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 you turned me to your enemy. Say, Daddy, I didn't know. He brainwashed me. I said, me, that I brought you and somebody you met. Who should brainwash who? Say, he brainwashed me. I said, there's nothing I can do about that. Say, I'm not married. I'm not married. I'm not married again. I'm not married again. I'm not. You remember? I am pastor. We are certainly the matter. I even said, okay, let's see how we can do. Now the hotel for honeymoon, I said, come and use our house. Come and use our house for the honeymoon. Two weeks or three weeks, anything you want. We, we, mommy said, we'll be for you. Use the house. On the wedding day, we have to look for a way to contribute money for cake. The guy promised every heaven and earth, my boys will take care of everything. My boys, my boys, my boys. And there was no boy anywhere. When I was telling that girl, I said, relax, relax. There is something about this guy. He said, no, he turned me to a strong enemy. He said, no, how will you be talking to me like that? Ba, 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 ba. I said, okay, no problem. A day before the wedding, cry. Oh, wedding day, cry. What was the cry? The present that the family gave to the lady. The guy used it to bail himself to pay, to stand as a collateral for the reception fee. Because of what? The lady only saw picture but not future. And the family were hungry. When the guy first got to, to traditional place, traditional marriage place, he fell down, he pretended as if he died. And the boy that followed him said, don't mind him or nothing wrong with him. I said, you see, open your eyes. That was the first time the lady talked to me for almost, talked to me genuinely for almost three years. And we are in charge, I'm the pastor. Singles, open your eyes and your mind. Do you hear me very well? 
When any man come to bamboos you with talk, say, I know it all. Forget about it. Teenagers, wake up. When your parents are telling you, calm down. Don't say, I'm coming up. Leave me alone. You are too old. Don't worry. It's the old man that said to small children. Hey. Say, we are, we are, you, are too, you are too old. This, this, in many on time. Is it, we, we wear old shoe. Okay? We are, and we are trending on the new path. Why? Because borrow our old wisdom to complement your millennial wisdom. So you can live a better life. I told somebody, the person went to visit the hospital to pray for. I said, I can cancel a marriage because our marriage was not at peace for 10 years. I see come to the church at the senior pastor of the closing center. God is good. God is great. Everything working. My wife will get to the house, begin to cry. Church problem, family problem, every problem on top of her. I remember one day she was sick. She could not come to church for almost two weeks. Almost two weeks or two Sundays or three Sundays. And somebody said, mommy could not even ask after me. I did not come to church yesterday. I am sick in the house. I said, see mindset. As a ministry, I'm thinking of how I'm going to take care of her in the house. The children were small. Now let me aha. her. Pele is about the week. Where I left her is where I'm going to meet her. And I will come to church. God is going to touch you. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. And say, yeah, yeah, yeah. As I'm saying, yeah, 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 yeah. My mind they say, hey, my wife, the house, God secure. Why some people are still praying, Lord? Let that marriage separate. Mommy, I hate her. Daddy, I don't like her. This is so, 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 so. And they turn their house to pool house where they discuss servant of God. That is a house where punishment start from. Change your house from that. Change your office from that. Change your shop from that. When it comes to the servant of God discussion that is not good, hello, tell them, minus me. Minus what? What you cannot undo in your future to come. Don't put your hand in it now. God don't punish immediately, but he punish later. He told Moses, he said to Moses, Sabi, I told you that time. I said you should speak to the rock. You did not speak. You hit the rock. That time, that time, that time, that time, that time. He said, for that reason, go to that mountain. Look at that place. And when I look, say, oh, this is a beautiful place. And God said, from this Pisgah, you are going to die. And the promise of God for me was he will lead the people. He said, hand over to your second in command. He never die. Who was the second in command? Who's supposed to be the second in command? Aaron. But why the Lord says you hand over to Joseph? To Joshua. Because of what? The mindset of Aaron was poor. There are so many Aaron in the house with poor mindset. May God deliver you. Are you see here? So future you see. Do not allow biscuits. Sweet to destroy it. Anyone that will capture your mind will give you what you love. Are you hearing me? Write it down. Anyone that will capture your mind will give you what you love. So don't forget the reason you must see big. You must act big. You must have big courage. You must play a big role. When you are given any assignment in the house of God, do it as if your life depends on that assignment. Big role. Do not dress, dream lesser. Do not dream lesser. Number seven, always making your vision plain. Number eight, avoid allowing social media praises to determine how far you will go in life. Social media praises to determine what? How far you go in life. When you post yourself on social media as a matter of fact with Photoshop picture. I remember somebody wanted to marry. I said to that lady, the lady I've been rejoicing, my husband is coming. And the man, when they met, the man said, this is no one I saw on Facebook. The man said, is your name this? He said, yes. Is it this? He said, yeah. because of what? They have photoshopped that lady. The destiny of that picture is being photoshopped. 
And when the husband now came, the husband said, no. But to the glory of God, the intervention of me and mommy, he began, he began to see the original picture in the real picture. How you see it? Original what? Original picture in what? The real picture. What is the real picture? Your physique. That man saw fair lady. He said, you are never fair. What I saw on Facebook was a fair lady. With very good lipstick. I don't even know you have ever used the lipstick in your life. The man said, I can't marry you. And as at that time, the lady has believed that the guy in Ghana is going to marry me. And you have already told the guy in Ghana, I don't want to have anything to, to do with you again. And the one in Nigeria said, this is not what I saw. Double <laughs> wala. As much as you can. After you avoid media praises. Oh, you are good. There are no one they have ever said you are bad. Even the one that brought out the breast. The cleavages are showing. That we are net and cover only nipple, small nipple. Say, wow, you are too good. They are the killer of your destiny. When they saw the cleavage come out, some has gone to the toilet to make use of your cleavage. I'll be happy. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. You go another shot. You go and do it. Yes, yes. Life is spoiling without control. And you are happy. Nobody. Everyone that's compliment today. Have they ever talked to you that they want to marry you? They are all singles. But the one that comes to you are the married men. Because of what? They are already established and they are looking for destiny to destroy. So the little life you see yourself don't determine your future. Build up your future. As much as you can. You must dream beyond your picture in order to allow your future to be clearer. Dream. Tell somebody, say dream. Continue dreaming. See the same thing. See bigger things than where it started. Say dream. It was the dream of Joseph that did not allow Joseph to misbehave. I had a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. It was a dream that made him to cast the garment. Cast the garment. And the woman said, I'm going to rope you. But he didn't know that no matter where your, your body is being arrested, destiny can never be arrested. Body of Joseph was arrested and locked in the prison, but not his destiny. Oh my God. Right from the prison, the Lord said, uh, the one that will interpret your dream is a prisoner. When they told the king, the one that will interpret your dream is in the prison. Say, so he's in the prison. And he said, hey, prison, a hey, prisoner. He took glory to the prison. But his body was arrested and glory was entered. Hey. And the king could not do any other thing than let me go to his convict to give me an answer. And by the time he returned, he said, are you there? He said, yes, I'm there. Oh, you think say, I'm that? Yeah, they say, I'm that. And when he spoke, he said, the answer is not in me. But the God of peace will give you the answer. Don't kill this man you want to kill. Leave them. I will come back to you with a pure answer. What did he do? He went to his prayer room and connect to God in that. Despite he was in the prison, listening to this, uh, he had a place that he used as a prayer altar. As soon as he got to that place, uh, he said, God, despite I'm in the prison, I know your presence is in the prison. Because I am here, your presence is here. That prison might be a place for idolatry, but because a servant of God enters into that place, the place will change to church. Hey, throw a great man into the forest, he will survive. It's just a matter of time. A great man, they are fear God, throw him anywhere. He will survive. It's a matter of time. I pray for you today, the Lord will guide you through. In the name of Jesus. So as much as you can, avoid those who don't believe in your dream. 
Don't forget your emotions should be controlled by your purpose. Your emotion should be controlled by your purpose. What are the emotions? I have a purpose that this, it happens to Joseph. Joseph said, I have a purpose. I've had a dream. The emotion is the, my, my master wife want me to have sex with him. And I've said to myself, I, I will never do that. My master said, I gave you everything to be in charge of everything, but not in charge of my wife. I have a purpose. But emotion is an issue. So this is the reason. You must center your emotion as something positive. Why? Because positive thinkers never go outdated and it is very difficult for them to miss the right target in life. Positive thinkers can be outstanding. I wish we can finish this message today. But we need to go. We need to go. Hallelujah. 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 So you need to understand this word. This little life is not the what? The size of my future. Joseph had that. The future is the best. But the devil saw the future before him. You know, after he had seen the future, the devil also came. I have seen your future. I am here to terminate the future. By what men love mostly. And he said, number one, if I do this with my master wife, I'll be eating free food. Number two, I'll be free as a slave. Number three, I'll be the one commanding in the house. Number four, if my master wants to talk to me anyhow, I will retaliate because the wife will talk to him on the bed at night. I say, don't talk to Joseph anyhow. Don't you know, I'll be promoted to the head chief. Number one, uh, that is that. Uh, and I'm going to be this. But he said, with all this opportunity, it does not match my future. There are so many opportunities that come the ways of man that does not match your future. I pray for everyone today. The Lord Almighty will change our mindset. He better hear me to that. I say we change our mindset. In the name of Jesus. But eventually you are here. You are tired. I don't even know how to connect to God in a proper manner. You have been struggling so seriously. And you are confused about the issue of life. I want to pray with you. You have discovered that this message has spoken to you and you need a change of life. Please, can you come forward? Or if you are connected online also, I want to pray for you. God bless 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 you. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. Na, na. If you know you sing that song for me. That is the only one that can help you. No. Sing it with your heart. He will guide till that day is gone. Yeah. There's not a friend like a lonely Jesus. Oh, no, not twice. No, not twice. No, not twice. Come on, say no. One. No, no, not one. Yeah. No, There's no a friend one. like the lowly Jesus. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No, no hands could heal. All our soul diseases. All our soul diseases. No, no, not one. No, 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 no,
logo. It will guide the day is done. There is no friend like the Holy Jesus. There is not a friend like the Holy Jesus. No, 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 no. Jesus know all about our struggle. Jesus knows yeah. all about our struggle. for the life of your daughters and your sons, people that you have brought to you today. Thank you for a better life. Thank you for great destiny that you have in them. They have come and they realize that they need you more than their own self. Lord, everyone that I hear understand why they are here. So I pray, please touch their pains. Heal their pains. Set to their lives. Whosoever that preventure you have taken laws into your hands. I ask that the Lord will take it back from you. And continue from there. Everything you are out here for, the Lord will set to it for you. From today, the template of life will be the great template. In the name of Jesus. You will not lose your purpose. You will not lose your future. You will not lose your vision. So will it be. As you come, you are coming with testimony. And say, that day I remember, the Lord will make it work. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to celebrate God for your life. What is the decision you have made? I know God is the only one that can make it. And he will touch you and comfort you. God bless you. Go and rejoice in the Lord. Do you have anybody in the house you want to give your life to God? And you are saying, I want to give my totality to God. I can't help myself anymore. I've been so dead in sin. And I discovered that my life is not just in God. And I need my life to be in him. Who is that person in the house? And you are saying, Pastor Adeliki, please pray for me. I would love to pray with you. Can we have that person in the house? God bless you.